Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast and this is for February 9th until 16th. Now let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Alright. Mm, Virgo, you're thinking about somebody from the past or somebody that lives n far from you, which is an air sign. Well, more likely some of you will be thinking heavily about your father, so... Okay... Oh, it's gonna be a very good week! Although you're gonna be feeling a little bit cut off and dry and distant towards a water sign person, okay? You feel like sometimes this person is kind of a little bit overbearing or paranoid and uh, it's like they want to go through the, your walls, but you can't go through theirs. So you feel like, oh, you know, what What kind of relationship is this? Like, uh, it's one way. You want to know a lot of things about me, you don't want me to know a lot of things about you. So you're you're going to try and distance yourself from this person to see if they could, you know, realize or even feel well, that whatever they've been doing to you or whatever that they've been contributing to the relationship isn't really right or it's not okay with you, all right? Now, you're thinking about somebody who lives far from you, okay? Somebody who already cut you off or somebody who's acting you know, cold and distant and cut off and dry. And uh, you are already planning for the upcoming birthday or for the upcoming, you know, celebration of some sort. Or it could be anniversary, you know, with this person. And you're also planning to surprise, you know, to give them a surprise party or a surprise visit or something like that. But then there will be some... Not really financial emergencies, but there will be some more important things that will come your way right in the middle of the week about, you know, something that you have to pay or something that you need to spend for or something that you need to, you know, use your money for. So you will be balancing everything and you will be feeling a little bit reserved. Part of you will also feel like, why am I going to, you know, exert much more effort with this person when they are the one who's been acting cold and distant. You know, like, I'm the one who keeps on making a lot of efforts and I'm the one who keeps on giving and uh, being too generous while this person just, you know, uh, j just wait and uh, see whatever I can give. Okay, so you're going to be feeling a little bit frisky about this. But, you are the one who's actually up for a surprise because this person is coming your way without you knowing. Now, there will be some communications there will be some exchange of you know some words it's not going to be an argument but there will be some you know back and forth thing like why like this why like that like you know and you will also know that why they're acting like this is because they've been having some problems with their with their work and they're also a little bit um a little bit um afraid you know that they might be one of the people that's you know, that their company will let go because their companies are crunching and uh, they are also f feeling a little bit scared. What if I'm the one who's going to get laid off and what's going to happen to me next? Now, that question or that worries will be, you know, will, will, will be coming to an end this week because they're going to know that they're not one of the, uh, you know, listed people that's, that their company will be letting go. But, you know, it's not yet the end. And it's not yet the, the final thing because I feel like their company will still be letting go of some more people. So expect some more up and down thing, like up and down drama for the next, um, you know, for the next few more weeks about this because they're not really good in carrying their problems or expressing their feelings. Okay, what you can do is just try to understand, you know, the things that they are going through and the things that they are. Um, trying to resolve on their own all right now for some of you who's with a water sign you're feeling happy and sad and kind of a little bit you know like you, you find this water sign very mysterious and weird at the same time okay sometimes they're okay sometimes they're full of walls sometimes they are you know they're very open but sometimes they're just gonna close down it's like they're gonna up and down up and down Okay, easily. And um, 
you don't even know where to stand and you don't even know how to place yourself in this person's life they want you to be a part of their life or they want you to be a part of their circle but it's like they, sometimes they keep on pushing you away and then when you move away they're gonna do something to pull you closer it's like damn if you do damn if you don't all right now but anyway that will you know that will surpass and um you need to work on your communications especially if you're with the pisces you know their nature is that they are having a hard time um, expressing their feelings or connecting to someone because they want somebody who can feel them read their body language read their mind you know or read their fears but of course not all people are gifted with you know being a mind reader so sometimes you're having a hard time understanding like why is it you know why is he or she is doing this okay so there will be some truth to be told and i feel like you will eventually know why this person has been acting like this aside from the you know th from their painful past and from their um cruel ex they're gonna let you know what they have gone through in the past why they've been acting like this okay as much as you want to be a part of this person's life you know you are now suddenly thinking is that person ready is that person ready for a uh, sorry is that person really ready for a relationship for a new life for for someone like me or will, will they just keep on pushing me away or will it be like this on and off on and off back and forth back and forth because you know even though you're not telling this person that you still have some other options or you're still thinking or you're keeping your options open at this point Although you really want to be with this person, you really want to get to know this person. But, you know, I feel like you're still caught up between your ex as well. And then this person that you are currently dealing with or dating with or going out with. Okay? You know, for, y for someone to be honest with you, it turns out that this person is actually very intuitive. And they're, you know, they have very sharp instinct. Um... For someone to be honest with you, you also need to be honest with them. Okay? You want the other person to do whatever it is that you want to do or happen into your relationship. Do the same thing. Okay? Because if you will keep on going back and forth with this person from the past and then this person that you're currently seeing with, you know, the energy will keep on clashing and the person you know that that is that you're dealing with right now will somehow feel like you are not really 100 percent into them it's like half of you is with them half of you is somewhere else or someplace else so it's time for you to talk it's time for you to realize whatever it is that you really want in a relationship in you know or with someone or in your life okay it's time for you to make a choice now let's take a look at your oracle cards. Okay, there is a message. Oh, loyal heart. Yang serendipity Ooh, you know what for um for the past no actually starting from aries until leo this serendipity it keeps on coming up so it means that most of you are already with your with your soulmate or you will be finding your soulmate this month okay most of you i'm not saying all but most of you now there is a message you know from your guides from your angels or from the universe that you need to heed and that you need to realize or that you can you know that you just need to listen either it's going to come up in your dreams or you know with the uh, advertisements that you can see and it's like there's a word that will be striking in your head and you just need to realize that there is something that the universe or the your angels are trying to send it to you as a message okay you just need to jot it down now loyal heart as i've said you need to make a choice 
whether it's this person from the past or this person that you're currently dealing with because the person that you're dealing with right now is very intuitive and they're so afraid of getting hurt again so if you're gonna be like this then you are just you know materializing their greatest fear of being with someone who is not so faithful and loyal and this and i feel like this one is already the right one for you you need to you know to pull out more positivity in you and stop the um the thing here is you mostly self-sabotage okay you're also the same you're pulling and pushing you're pulling and pushing okay it's like you don't even know if you should stay with one person because you're so afraid of getting hurt but it's only a matter of taking the risk okay so make that big decision now and serendipity it seems like you already found your soulmate for you to know the things that you really need to realize in life and the things that you need to what do you call this um the things that you need to make a decision about go and travel search for you know search for yourself go for your own soul uh soul searching okay and um have some more space for yourself and don't rush into things because you've already found your way home all right anyway that's it for you for this week virgo and if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls it's now available in my website you just need to log on and register in uh, sophieangel.net and you may click on the bottom there at the home page and click on the links of the proper services that you want to avail <clears throat> i'm sorry my <clears throat> my throat is a little bit itchy again anyway so have a great weekend and blessings to you